Family and friends, welcome to Western Washington University's December 2023 commencement ceremony. Please join me as we celebrate the class of 2023. President Randawa, the university community is assembled for commencement. Please stand as you are able for our national anthem. We will be led in singing by a graduate of Western Washington University's music department, Alexandra Orozco. Please be seated. <laughs> Members of the class of 2023, returning Western alums, faculty and staff, 
families and friends of the graduates, welcome to today's commencement ceremony. I would like to begin by acknowledging that we gather today on the ancestral homelands of the Coast Salish peoples who have lived in the Salish Sea Basin all throughout the San Juan Islands and the North Cascades watershed from time immemorial. Please join me in expressing our deepest respect and gratitude for our indigenous neighbors, the Lummi Nation and Nooksack tribe, and for their enduring care and protection of our shared lands and waterways. The flags we have near and on the stage, including those of Sawan indigenous nations, represent the origins and educational experiences of our graduates and Western's global reach. They also include the branches of the military through which our graduating veterans have proudly served with dedication and honor. Our graduating veterans are wearing white stoles. Red, white, and blue cords are also worn by some graduating veterans as well as by the family members of veterans. Thank you very much for your service. <clears throat> Academic commencement is a centuries old tradition. By its definition, commencement is a beginning, the beginning of a new adventure as an alum of Western Washington University. Over the past 130 years, Western has conferred more than 142,000 degrees. This winter, 721 students are receiving their diplomas. Commencement is a time to celebrate, but also a time of reflection about values, commitments, and above all, the people whose dedication make this milestone possible. Please join me as we recognize those who have made possible the achievement of today's graduates and who have supported these graduates emotionally, spiritually, financially, and with lasting love and affection. I ask that all the families and friends of graduates please stand and remain standing. Please stand so that our graduates may show their appreciation for their guidance and support. Thank you, please be seated. Western's greatest pride is in the accomplishments of our graduates and the contributions they make to their communities and our society. Our faculty help nurture this creativity and excellence, and it is our faculty and staff who provide the mentorship and support needed for long-term growth and success. Will the faculty and staff, including emeritus and emerita, please rise and be recognized? In key leadership positions included with me on our platform today are our trustees, community leaders who, on behalf of the people of Washington, direct and guide the work of the university. The trustees present today are Sue Sharp and Mo West. Officers of the university on the platform today are Brad Johnson, Provost and Executive Vice President, Melinda Husky, Vice President for Enrollment and Student Services, Donna Gibbs, Vice President for Uni University Relations and Marketing, Joyce Lopes, Vice President for Business and Financial Affairs, Kim O'Neill, Vice President for University Advancement, and Jacqueline Hughes, Chief Diversity Officer. The deans on the platform today are Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Research, David Patrick, Dean of the College of the Environment, Tina Gabrielson, Dean of the College of Fine and Performing Arts, Chris Bianco, Dean of the Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies, Caskey Russell, Dean of the Woodring College of Education, Kevin Roxas, 
and Dean of Libraries, John Deneker. The mace from medieval times symbolizes the university's authority to confer degrees and is borne by a leader of our outstanding faculty. Our mace bearer today is the president of the faculty senate, Brandon Dupont. To bring you greetings on behalf of the faculty, I present Professor Dupont. Thank you all. Uh, good afternoon. It's great to be here on such an exciting occasion. It really is an honor to be able to congratulate all of our graduates on behalf of Western's faculty. You all, of course, deserve tremendous credit for this achievement, especially given the unique challenges that you faced during the COVID pandemic. That credit, of course, be mostly belongs to you, but I also want to thank the friends and family and others who have supported you along the way. So one of the coolest parts of my job today is that I get to carry the ceremonial mace. And I have spent an embarrassing amount of time thinking about the ceremonial mace, but I can say because of that, that the mace is made up of rosewood and silver, and on one end of it, there is a silver cast flame that symbolizes enlightenment. So in a ceremony like this one that's full of symbolism, the mace is a specific symbol of the university's authority to confer degrees, as President Rondawa just said. This unique authority, I think, compels us to think a little bit about the unique position of a university in our broader society. So a university should be a space that is driven by intellectual curiosity, open inquiry, and a rich diversity of ideas. These things are really about learning how to ask the right kinds of questions. And learning how to do that, by the way, is hard. It's, it's harder than it sounds, but it is central to our collective pursuit of knowledge. And by the way, Western Washington University's vision statement includes some key words that are ultimately grounded in intellectual curiosity and inquiry. Things like explore and think critically, communicate clearly, and connect ideas creatively. But focusing on these intellectual pursuits is admittedly hard to do in the modern world, filled as it is with TikTok and Twitter and various other sources of noise and distraction. And it was particularly hard for you and in fact for all of us during the COVID pandemic when our classroom interactions were limited to talking heads, sometimes black boxes on a computer screen. Although we did learn a new phrase, you are muted became part of our vocabulary, unfortunately. The tools that you developed uh, here at Western, intellectual curiosity, a capacity for open inquiry, the critical thinking skills that go along with them, that go along with them, give you a way of navigating that noisy information environment. So in part, we've done that here by asking you to step away from the noise for just a bit, for just a little bit, to engage in serious conversations and debates to contemplate the world around us and to learn ways of analyzing it. So I hope it's clear then that universities have a role that's much more substantial than just providing you with job training and increasing your earning power in the labor market. Those are, of course, important things, uh, but a broad university education is about a lot more than that. To paraphrase the American legal scholar Edward Levi, universities are the custodians of culture and of the rational process itself. So while we, the universities, may be the custodians of the rational process, it's you, our graduates, who project that process out into the world, hopefully in ways that make it at least a little bit a uh, better place to live. As President Rondal also just said, commencement is not an end, but a beginning. And so as you begin this next step, I ask that you remember that the ways of thinking you've cultivated here over the past several years do not get left at the door as you leave this room today. These ways of thinking will be with you throughout your careers and throughout your lives. So finally, let me close these remarks by asking our graduates to please keep in touch with us, the faculty, I know my faculty colleagues agree with me when I say there's nothing better than hearing from former students 
maintaining the connections that we have forged together over the past several years. So thank you all for being part of the Western community. And again, congratulations on behalf of the faculty. Thank you. Thank you, Professor DuPont. Western proudly exists as a manifestation of the vision and the values of the people of the state of Washington. To bring you greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees is Trustee Sue Sharp. Good afternoon, graduates, family, and friends of graduates, and distinguished guests. I bring you greetings on behalf of the people of the state of Washington. As President Randawa noted, um, it is the governor, and by his authority on behalf of the people of our great state, that he appoints a volunteer board of trustees who then steward the legacy of this great university. I'm speaking on behalf of my board colleagues, and it is a great honor to serve in this role and a responsibility that we take very seriously. In addition to congratulating you on your tremendous achievement, I would also like to give you a charge from the people of Washington. That's whether you're a Washington resident, a resident of another state, or an international student. The people of Washington have invested in your future so that you may develop your talents, follow your aspirations, and not just for your own benefit, but for theirs as well. So today marks a significant transition in your lives, a start of a new chapter in a growing journey of independence empowerment, and self-determination. It also marks the beginning of your opportunity. And with that comes responsibility to give back, to contribute to the social, economic, and cultural health, not just of your community, but your state and the world. As you set forward on this exciting personal and professional journey, that lies ahead. Remember, not only the pride that the people of Washington take in your success, but the responsibility you have to think beyond yourself in using the gifts that you have been given. So with that, on behalf of your Western Washington University trustees, congratulations and best wishes for your future. Thank you, Trustee Sharp. Today's student speaker is Sydney Gaylor, who is receiving a Bachelor of Arts degree in environmental education. Sydney worked at the AS Bookstore, where she learned to emphasize small daily kindnesses. Sydney also volunteers with the Skagit Valley Bald Eagle Interpretive Center and with the Garden of the Salish Sea Curriculum. In our speech today, Sydney hopes to encourage us to reflect on the importance of kindness and generosity. Please welcome your class speaker, Sydney Gaylor. Hello, class of 2023. It is so good to see you all. I really mean it. I'm so grateful to speak and share this day with you. Now, if I look slightly familiar to you, but you can't quite place me, maybe consider your spending habits. I've worked at the campus bookstore for the past two years. I actually wrote this speech during slower hours at the register. I helped many of you find your last minute WW mug to take back home to your mom for Christmas. And I sold you the blue or green exam booklets as you stressed over your final written exams just days or weeks ago. From my spot behind the register, I've seen your thoughtfulness with each other, your patience in long lines. I've loved the little interactions, all the people who asked me how my day was going or complimented my outfit, hair, or makeup. 
The kindnesses were daily. I saw what's in your hearts, even as you were just buying a candy bar. Take that generosity and continue to share it so willingly. Keep giving, even when the days are tiring or the circumstances are unexpected. It's clear that from this group, the world is gaining thinkers, mentors, planners, collaborators, and friends. I also met many of the people here to support you when they bought you your surprise sweatshirts, your books at the beginning of the fall when they dropped you off, the rain jacket when they visited you in the middle of the quarter, and the license plates cover covers that label you as alumni. Make sure to take a moment and thank them when you can. The parents, grandparents, professors, coaches, advisors, siblings, families, and friends, and the friends graduating right alongside you, or maybe a few quarters from now. Every single person at this ceremony today, or rooting from home, has found within them the sacrifice and generosity to help you make this accomplishment possible. Remember to tell those who love you, thank you. I filled many of your cap, gown, and tassel orders for this very celebration. I got to congratulate you as you picked them up and saw the full range of emotions from overwhelming excitement to a murky sense of concern. I'm grateful to also have been a small part in your journeys to today. And let's think about that journey. What has brought you to today? Your first kindergarten or even preschool teacher? The first job you ever wanted as a princess, doctor, or a professional dinosaur? Maybe the first book you ever remember reading? Maybe you were thinking of the note written home to your parents because you colored outside the lines in kindergarten. True story. Recall that white knuckle journey to move to campus freshman year, just down the road or hundreds of miles away. The lectures you snoozed through accidentally, I'm sure. Your favorite professors, the tests you failed, the ones you aced, your first days, your last days, all those late nights you procrastinated, and all the days you were proud. You've worked so hard to be here, so take now to reflect. We've had to stay ahead and think to the next class, the next assignment, due at 11.59 at night. But right now, this is your achievement, so treasure it while it happens. It won't last forever. And when your mind does inevitably drift to the future, try not to worry too much about what you're going to do in the real world. Do not discount your experiences in these years and in this place by classifying them as anything other than real. Real life was, it was complex and impossible, generous, overwhelming, and important. Realize you have done so much, class of 2023. So when your name is called, and it's your turn to stand up here, Take a moment, breathe it in, and enjoy the view. I wish you all a very, very happy graduation. Best wishes and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Sydney. Today you become alums of this great university, a distinction that is yours forever to bring you a message from the Foundation for Western Washington University and alumni. He is Vice President for University Advancement and CEO of the Foundation, Kim O'Neill. Greetings to our distinguished faculty members, alumni, honored guests, and most importantly, the exceptional graduating class of Western Washington University. Today, we are here to celebrate not just an end, but a remarkable beginning, the start of a new chapter of your lives as proud alumni of this esteemed institution. As you stand on the precipice of a world full of possibilities, remember that this is not the end of your journey, but the commencement of a lifelong relationship with Western. In the fast-paced and ever-changing world that we live in, it is easy to lose touch with our roots, to forget the experiences that shaped us. However, I call upon you, as new alumni, to stay connected with Western and to nurture the bonds you have formed here. Your alma mater is not just a physical place. It is a community, a network of support, mentorship, 
and opportunity that will remain with you throughout your lives. Your experiences and expertise are invaluable resources that can inspire and guide others on their own journeys. Embrace the power of your education and the platform it provides to make a positive difference in your communities, to advocate for positive change, and to create a more inclusive and equitable society. Remember that success is not solely measured by material wealth or professional achievements, but by the impact that you have on the world and the lives of those around you. Western Washington University has instilled in you the values of compassion, integrity, and a commitment to social justice. By staying engaged with the university through alumni events, mentoring programs, and giving back to the next generation of students, you can make a world of difference for those who come after you. In closing, let me say again, this is not an ending, but a beginning. Your time at Western prepared you for a world of endless possibilities. As you embark on this exciting new chapter, remember that you're not alone. The entire Western community stands beside you, cheering you on and is ready to support you whenever you need it. Congratulations, new alumni. May your journey be filled with purpose, fulfillment, and an unbreakable bond with your alma mater. Stay connected, stay inspired, and continue to make us proud. Thank you, Vice President O'Neill. Graduates, congratulations, you did it. Today we celebrate your accomplishments during your time here at Western. Our graduates are the greatest contributions as we as an academic institution make to society, and we look forward to the many ways you are going to shape the world. I'm excited about your future and what lies ahead for you. This is a time when technological advancements have placed the world at your fingertips. There are opportunities for you and your generation that have not existed previously or have been limited to certain segments of our society. At the same time, our global society faces many challenges. The climate crisis, emerging and chronic diseases, mental health issues, gender inequality, geopolitical tensions, and the quest for basic human rights for everyone, to name a few. We hope that at Western we have created the foundation for you to pursue intellectual exploration of these challenges, consider social problem, problems from a diverse array of perspectives, and understand how to navigate an increasingly interconnected global society to foster collaborations and build community. Ultimately, your most lasting impact will be measured by the lives you touch and the positive differences you make in your communities. The world needs your passion and idealism as you commit to causes larger than yourself. Your education will truly become higher when it is put to higher purposes. We wish each one of you the very best in your personal and professional life. We celebrate and congratulate each of you today and welcome you as you join the esteemed ranks of the alumni of Western Washington University. At this time, we will commence the formal process of recognizing our graduates and distributing diplomas. But before we start, I would like to acknowledge the students who passed away this year still in the pursuit of their degrees. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor those students. Thank you. Dean Patrick will now come forward and present the candidates for master's degree. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise and remain standing? Will the faculty please rise? 
President Rondawa, I present these candidates for the master's degrees upon the recommendation of their faculty advisors, their thesis committees, and on behalf of our faculty, I certify that they have satisfactorily completed the course requirements for the degree, have met the high scholastic standards of the university, and have been approved by the Graduate Council. I present them for the conferring of their degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University, and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees, and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the associated responsibilities, privileges, and honors. Congratulations. Putting the graduates today will be members of the faculty. Dean Patrick will read the names of the recipients of master's degree. Faculty, please be seated. Recipients of the master's degree may proceed to the platform. Presenting the recipients of master's degrees. Taylor Layton Lewis, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. <laughs> Selena Luis Gutierrez, Master in Teaching. <laughs> Justin Sagugi Gabriel, Master in Teaching. Alyssa Jordan Mole, Master in Teaching. Noel Christine Garut, Master in Teaching. Bennett Allen Nebel, Master in Teaching. Megan Grace Bruce, Master in Teaching. Isaac Samuel Hall, Master in Teaching. Haley Anna Ganell Hines, Master in Teaching. Lauren Christine Rauerdink, Master in Teaching. Rachel Alexandria Barber, Master in Teaching. <laughs> Mia Michelle Hutter, Master in Teaching. <laughs> Emily Leah Mars, Master of Education in Adult and Higher Education. Please join me in congratulating these graduates who have completed their master's degrees. Thank you, Dean Patrick. Provost Johnson will now join me in conferring the bachelor's degree upon the eligible candidates. <coughs> Excuse me. Good evening. I sincerely hope that all of the family and friends came here tonight to cheer for their favorite graduate. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand and remain standing? Will the faculty please rise? <laughs> President Rondawa, 
I am proud to present these candidates and on behalf of the faculty of Western Washington University, I recommend that they be awarded the baccalaureate degree subject to the satisfactory completion of any outstanding assignments or requirements. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University and by the authority vested in me by our board of trustees, and in conformity with the laws of the state of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the associated responsibilities, privileges, and honors that the credential carries. Congratulations. Please be seated. You may proceed to the platform to receive your diploma when called by your dean. Presenting the graduates from the College of the Environment. Micah Abdul Kareem Cruiser. <laughs> Dylan J. Adams. Spencer Kyle Haney. Aiden James Ritchie. Philip Edwin Bergfield. Zeppelin Poole, magna cum laude. Ollie Cox, magna cum laude. Rowan Alexander Reed. Arthur Liam Neese. Gordon Brunson. Sydney Kate Gaylor, magna cum laude. Marco Elia Petrosky Foster, University Honors College. Charles Rasco. Shirley Zoe. Madison Leanne Riles. Sydney Elston, magna cum laude. Daphne Narvios Delay. Audrey Nicole Patton. <laughs> Trinity Rosemary Trianton. <laughs> Samantha Luong. <laughs> Lillian Marie Buck, University Honors College. Ava Orojo, cum laude. Elizabeth Lawrence. Allison Murray. June Aurelia Quick. Ciara Ortiz. Aiden Jack Romano. <laughs> Emily Salcedo. <laughs> Benjamin Jones. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating these graduates from the College of the Environment.
presenting the graduates from Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies. Raylan Kaplan. Isame Valerian David. Ella Tasher Morrison. Ava Catherine Martin. Leslie Mendez. Isabella Mott. Kat Jan Palmer. Raven Lee Charlo. Tim Gatlin. Cole Karen, <laughs> Sophia Edgar, <laughs> Marielle Rémy Francois Glass, <laughs> hey, Tess. Tess Redding Hoffert, <laughs> Ayana Arnold. Kaylin Sanders. And presenting graduates from the University Interdisciplinary Studies. Right. Ian Telfair McBride. Calvin Daniel Abbott, cum laude. <laughs> Valeria Archia Alanez. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating these graduates from Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies and from University Interdisciplinary Studies. Presenting the graduates from the College of Fine and Performing Arts. <laughs> Madison Janine Lefevre. Joseph Anthony Macarella. <laughs> Sophia Vinay Toole. Gage Thomas White. Gabrielle Oliver, cum laude. Claire Louise Hahnemann, Cum laude. Taylor S. Hall. Madeline Schaefer. Ava Faith Weller. Carly Ann Gadzik. Steph Lassiter. Eliana Vasquez. Emma Grace Dubler. Exaria Siplin. Kaylee Dickinson, cum laude. 
Emily Grace Oval, magna cum laude. Evan Daniel Cobb. Adam Meyer Greenberg. Alex Owens. Chase Cohen. Daniel Vincent Cobb. Antonia Pristis, magna cum laude. Emmeline Gates. Anya Truska Petrov Howarth. Shelby Ray Henry. Kaylea Lauren Fields. Destiny Overly. Sophia M. Shepard. Lily Brown. And Joshua Philip Cummings. Please join me in congratulating these graduates from the College of Fine and Performing Arts. Presenting the graduates from the Woodring College of Education. James Young Lewis. Jordan May Winterburn. Harmony Maine. Grace Victoria Rain. Rachel M. Benjamin. Bethany Bell. <laughs> Megan Michelle Bentley, Mag magna cum laude. Austin James Bradley. Marina Ruby Tenorio. Avery Hamby. Ilona, Ilona Brosi. <laughs> Emma Lowry. <laughs> Antonia Sarah Kela He Launi Lyons. Onika Jane Hansen, magna cum laude. Hillary Coop, magna cum laude. Morgan Lorabel Crane. Maria de Lourdes Clemen. Benjamin Olivier Terry Veladre, <laughs> Caitlin Don Hunsinger, <laughs> J 
Jordan Lynn Scroggins. Jessica Hempel. Peyton Schmidt. Kaya Celeste Lamitson. Elena Rose Cornell Cornelison. Madeline, Madeline Rathart. Diana Asasana Ramirez. Felicity Sage Biddlecombe. Kelly Lee McCormick. Aileen Brower. Stephen Vidaroff. Jordan Andrea Stockfleet. Megan Heddington. Megan Smith. Melani Pitavau Ma Nya Wilson. Katarina Ann Petros. Abigail Bannon. Julia Teeters. Samantha Ashley Matolo. Victor Manuel Chavez. Rebecca Bailey Magna Cum Laude. Carrie Miller. Olivia Ray Hewitt. Isabel Alice Harshaw. Juliana Michelle Coronado. Serafina G. Hai Kwan. Ethan Forsberg. Triana Summerfield. <laughs> Katrina Vogel. <laughs> Hannah Locken. <laughs> Lindsay Luann Fortier. Jade Shepherd Magna Cum Laude. Anita Jane Trubnikov. Michael McLaughlin. Christina Ellis Cum Laude. Cassidy Langley Cum Laude. Madison Bynum. Sarah Jane Park. Kaylee Jean Anderson. Bailey Morgan Golding. Courtney Macy. Lindsay Marie Sconas. Ren Victoria Stewart. Woo! 
Grace Young Shin Lee. Marissa Dubay. Rita Salas. Jillian Nicole Laval. Chloe Ann Reed. Molly Louise Burton. Please join, please join me in congratulating these graduates from the Woodring College of Education. Graduates, would you please stand? <laughs> Allow me to guide you in one more tradition. You may now move your tassels from right to left, signifying the completion of your degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. One more note of thanks. I would like to express my appreciation to the many people who have worked long hours and served in critical roles planning and implementing today's graduation ceremony. Thank you. I ask that the audience remain in your seats during the recession of the faculty and graduates. It is a tradition at Western that faculty and graduates follow commencement with the memory walk ceremony. My colleagues on the stage and our faculty will lead our graduates out of Carver and to Red Square. Before entering Red Square, graduates will have the opportunity to deposit items reflective of their time at Western in a time capsule, your IDs, unused COVID mask, unpaid parking tickets, or whatever moves you, <laughs> which we will later seal and cement into the walkway in front of Old Main under a marble stone engraved with the seer. We invite you to visit that walkway before you leave campus. After the completion of the ceremony, graduates will meet their guests in Red Square. Before the recession, I invite Alexandra Orozco again to the stage to lead us as we sing the alma mater. They will be accompanied by Western winds also from our music department. Please join in. The words are inside the back cover of your program. Please rise and remain standing in place as you are able for the alma mater and until the recessional of faculty and graduates is complete.
Congrats, class of 